Now, the next important thing is not only do we need to give you know, very effective combinations of treatments at the time of diagnosis in order to get the myeloma down to that really low level, we also need to do something to keep the myeloma at that low level. So there has been this concept of maintenance treatment uh, that is being applied to kind of keep the lid on the disease, so to speak. And one of the drugs that has shown the most benefit has been the drug called Rublamid, which is a pill that's often taken for three weeks out of four weeks or at a low overdose continuously. And there have been multiple trials that have shown that after an autologous stem cell transplant, if you keep patients continuously on the Rublamid maintenance, patients, um, the, the time the myeloma takes to come back uh, can be doubled. And in fact, the patients can actually live for almost a uh, year and a half to two years longer by using uh, the maintenance rather than just not doing anything after transplant. Now, obviously, you know, as has already been pointed out by Dr. Goodman, you know, the treatment of multiple myeloma has evolved to a uh, paradigm where we are treating patients continuously for long periods of time. We don't really know whether that is needed for everyone. So there is increasingly the concept, if we can get patients to what we call a minimal residual disease negative state, um, they might they're out we might be able to stop the treatment in some patients. Unfortunately, we don't have the data to say that is the case for everyone. Um, all we know is that if patients do get to a minimal residual disease negative state, their survival is much better um, compared to those patients who don't get to that MRD positive, uh, MRD negative state. 